my gosh. You guys, I'm so sorry. The connection just dropped out. Damn technology, F it. That makes me so angry. Uh, I was in the middle of signing something for Manny. I'm so sorry, the internet just went, sorry, your internet's not doing well, boom, or whatever the hell it said, and it just stopped. So I won't be able to save that first one. Damn it. You guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Dagnabbit. I don't know what to say, except I'm so sorry, and technology can just suck it sometimes. I'm sorry. I am so sorry, that would really bum me out. Manny, I don't know if you wanted me to sign it or not, but I did because I'm in a holiday, stay well kind of mood. I just wrote best wishes, lots of love, Lori Allen, the boss. I'm so sorry, let me just wave back at everybody. Hi, thank you for joining, thank you so much for joining. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys, I'm so sorry. And we were doing a fun gratitude. Hi, we were doing a fun gratitude um, list. Oh, man, I'm just so bummed. I'm sorry. I see David. I see Sammy. Sammy! Um, I'm never not going to be able to do that now. I have to tell my friend Sherry and Michael that since they call their, your sexy belly like the boss. I know. You have such an obsession with belly buttons, mostly mine. I know. So does my fiance. What can I tell you? I get it. You are the best. I enjoy your voices. I enjoy that you're here today. Thank you. You guys, I am so... Sorry, I don't know what happened to the interweb. Oh, my boyfriend, fiance, I don't know if I'm gonna get used to saying that, honey, but the, um, not trying to be rude, what? But ever been called a giant because of your tall height? I'm not especially tall. Someone has, has it on IMDb that I'm 5'9", I wish, I'm 5'6". Can you do Carol from the Adventures of Kid Danger? I can't remember the voice right now. I'm saying hi, thank you. Abe Sheck, I'm sure I'm not saying that right. Okay, I digress. Manny, let me check that off. Like I said, I have to go. What I'm going to do while you guys are still here. Shit. The boss, signs of love. Okay, no, that was from another signing. I still have signs of love up there. I'm so sorry. That was for another signing. This one is just number 41. It doesn't say who, so you can put it up on eBay and sell it. You know what? We got to do what we got to do. Um, whenever somebody doesn't put something on there, I know that they're going to do something like, maybe you'll gift it to somebody. That would be nice, right? Okay. Whoever number 41 is, there that is for you. You're so awesome. Thank you for being a part of my childhood. Thank you too. You made my childhood since you, thank you so much. Hi, I'm waving. I can't believe that I booked Family Guy and SpongeBob in the same year. And everyone, well, a lot of people asked me, did you know that it was going to be something? And I remember the first, um, the first, okay, I got that one. The first uh, SpongeBob gig, I was like, oh, holy shit, this is amazing. And then I remember, because we're on the booth together. We haven't been since COVID. And I'm sure they felt like, especially with the spike here in LA. So please make sure you be careful. Hi, Amanda. Um, um, what did you say? I did that a lot too, Zeb. Oh, transitioning from boyfriend to fiance. It felt strange, but also amazing. But I was very comfortable saying husband right away. Aw, that's so true. Thank you for that. Did you hear what my friend Zeb said, Mark? Huh? She said it was hard to say, go from boyfriend to fiance, but then it was much easier to just start saying husband. That's cute. I agree. There you go. Uh, do you remember the episode Tunnel of Glove and SpongeBob? Yes. Yes, I do. There's certain episodes. Hi, Law underscore N. Uh, SpongeBob and Pearl are a couple, maybe. <laughs> I don't think so. But they did go to the Pearl to, uh, to the mall together. Um, and they did go to the, the birthday party and the prom. Um, let me see if I missed anything. We were doing, uh, think mine was the, Kevin. Think mine was one of the first with the long quote. I just couldn't get the feed working. Shit, no, my... The internet just completely took a, you know, did that. Um, I'm so grateful that I've been able to be a part of your childhood. Um, I was a baby for all intents and purposes too. I was 30 something. Maybe you guys are like, no, a baby is really like 
10, 12, 5 when you started watching. But for me, I was a baby. I just moved out to LA and that was very exciting. Okay, 41, I signed that. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do with you guys here? If I didn't sign something, I might have clicked off something and I feel kind of like an asshole. Shit, shit balls, shit balls. Sign anytime. Sign orders on camera through Streamly Talent app. You guys, I have to, I'm gonna sign out of the app. And thank you for hanging with me. I'm gonna sign out and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna log right back in. And I'm going to, it says that I'm live on the Streamly, so that's good. Um, let me sign back in. There we go, log in. And let me let me go see if any last minute folks or things I've, that I think I skipped someone and I, I missed two, I think I skipped someone, shit. And I think by accident, because in my overexcitedness, I skipped someone, it. And then I think two people uh, are coming on now. You guys, I'm so sorry. If that's the case, I know I can sign all year, but you will, you'll DM me here on Instagram and I'll do another um, just for those who I either skipped by accident in my overexcitement, because that happens sometimes, or last minute ones. Share your shop link. No, 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 I just want to, me. Okay, hold on. Shit, you guys. Shop status is open, so that's good. And I think Streamly is awesome. So they have a way for you to be able to, there's gotta be a way, you guys, for sign, there's sign anytime items. Um, I think mine was the first one with the long quote. I'm sorry, I'm behind on the Instagram comments. So that's Kevin um, and Zeb talking about saying husband. Um, hello, your highness. Hello, hi, Carl. What would a Pearl TV show be like? A Pearl TV show, oh my gosh. A Pearl, we know Patrick has his own like TV show, like within the TV show. Um, th that's kind of fun. And then um, what would her TV show be? Her TV show would be, I think she would, because Patrick does almost like a talent show. I think hers would be, you know what would be interesting? And maybe I'm just a little heavy handed with this, but I think, um, uh, I think that she would have something to do with bullying and she would have, she would have all of her girlfriends. She would have all the gal pals. She would have Sandy and Mrs. Puff and she would have Karen. And um, who else am I obviously missing? Um, Jill Talley, Tom's wife. Tom Kenny's wife obviously does Karen, the computer. We all do all these extra voices. And then Serena Irwin is the goddess of doing every single other voice that, and so is Dee Bradley Baker, who I know you guys know as an amazing voice actor. And if you're looking to be a voice actor, one of the things that's so great about D is he has a website and he has a lot of amazing information about be becoming a voice artist, which is kind of incredible. Um, and Serena and Dee do a bajillion voices since the beginning of time on the show. So they are wonderful, absolutely wonderful. We keep trying to get a whole group signing for SpongeBob folks and we will get on it as everyone's just so busy but we're I'm gonna make that happen that's gonna be something that happens in 2023 it's Laura hi Laura from voiceover network I came over with Rachel this year hi yes before my birthday I totally remember hi um that's lovely and David asks again another question let's see when did you have your first convention oh my god I don't know 12 15 years ago does that sound right People were doing them before, but I don't think I did one until like 15 years ago. I have to go back and look. I don't know. Last November was your 26th birthday, Fernando. Happy belated birthday. Last month, David, you turned 24. Happy belated birthday. I wish that I could get something, but joining the live is awesome. You can go to the store and get something. Plus five. Let me just click on it. Uh, shit, you guys, I'm so sorry. It says that I've signed everything and I know that there, do, do me a favor, go on and get something because I'm going to leave the store open for the, for a month and then we will do another IG live for those that did, that I missed. I think I missed one person. I think I clicked on it. Um, this is what it looks like. So you're on streamily.com and you click it as you go. So it shows that I am somewhat 
done with some things and I know for a fact that I'm not. So please, pretty, please, pretty, please keep writing what you're grateful for. And I'm so grateful for you and I so appreciate you stopping by. So there's some people that I, I clicked on because I was very excited. And there's I know several people that just went on and ordered something um, and ordered something while we while we've been talking. And I don't see it. I don't know why. Dag gum it. And I can't use my phone to call seven days purchase. Let's see. Seven days from purchase. It's not letting me look at. Um, <clears throat> it's not letting me do it. Live stream signing. All of these. I wonder if I could. The Metal Gear poster. Would you guys want a Metal Gear poster with everybody signing it? It's incredible. We did that half a year ago. I wish that I could get something. Yeah, Hunter Murray 12. Uh, I love you too, Coral Davis. Thank you. Hi, Asher Clown. There's somebody else that I'm saying hi to. Russ, uh, Tessa, Tessa Sell Brussels. I don't know if that's your full name. Um, I want to be a cartoonist writing and voiceover work. Um, don't ever put your dreams on the back burner. And the best thing, hi, Justine Huxley. Hi, sweetheart. I love you too. Justine Huxley, you're an amazing singer. You and I have been friends and colleagues and clients and teachers. And I am so incredibly impressed and humbled. And I get verklempt knowing the amazing success you have. I'm so proud of you. Please, everybody, go check out Justine Huxley. And we have like the most opposite voices. You have the most clear, beautiful, ingenue voice and you're an amazing singer, but I am so proud of what you've accomplished. You are a hard worker. You are so talented. You do beautiful accents and you're an incredible singer. I hope you and I get to do something again where we're both singing. I love you, Justine. I'm so proud of you. Um, Dee Bradley Baker is an awesome person, even though I've never met him, but I think he's awesome on Ben, Ben 10. I love that series. Um, this is true. I'm just saying hi. I feel like, hi, Harry. I have to put my youngest daughter to bed, but I just wanted to jump on and say hi, law underscore N. Where are you? Where are you? I want to be a voice actor.com. That's right. It used to be on his site, but now he has a separate site. Hi, T. I don't know how to say that. T E Consergio. Uh, Matt and I were watching, this is Zeb again. Hi, Zeb. Matt and I were watching a return of Family Guy, a rerun of Family Guy, and they were making fun of Lifetime Network. <laughs> and a voice came on and said, Lifetime Television for Idiots. That was my very first gig, a promo gig, was I said, Lifetime. It's a little like life, only with better writers. Because, wait, Lifetime, 30-something. 30 30-something 30 was a show about 30-something struggling. Show. You love that show? Uh, my well, fiancé loved the show 30-something. And you were laughing. Yes, that's my first gig. Justine. We need to get together, Justine. We are behind by what, a year? Have we, we haven't seen each other in the pandemic. And I know you and I, or did we see each other? We should probably, we should probably get together with Ashley Adler because she's moving. Okay, Rasta Kana. Hi, Rasta. It's 11.04 p.m. in Tanzania. Okay, you need to get ready to go to bed. <coughs> Uh, how is it working with the amazing Aubrey Plaza and the legendary Betty White? Here's the amazing thing. I'm waving to somebody else. We were not in the same room together. So can you imagine? I was in the same room with John Hamm and Ernest Borgnine and um, Tim Conway and some other interesting celebrity folks. And the guy that was on, the guy that was the drumming instructor for a couple movies ago. Oh my God, for J.K. Simmons. But I was not in the room for Betty White. But I get so verklempt and choked up and I'm beyond, I'm like speechless knowing that I'm even in the same anything with her. Because, and, and what I love about that episode is that she's, we're talking a lot about bullying and fitting in because I go get a job at her store and she's got um, like an interesting store of like kitschy cool things, not like, you know, piercing you know, um, stuff and like a Claire's type jewelry place or whatever. If you don't know what Claire's is, it's where you go get cheap jewelry. Um, like when I traveled, I got a ring from Claire's cause I would not, not about to travel with this. And, um, Mark, why don't you sign on? I won't bring you on camera because I know you haven't, um, had your full cup of coffee yet. Do you remember some things during recording? Well, the main thing that I remember recording <clears throat> specifically about SpongeBob is that 
it's such a joy. It's like an endorphin experience because we're all cracking up and we get to do an A, B, and C take. So usually the A take is, you know, obviously as written and there might be a bobble. Somebody might say a word wrong or whatever. Then a B take is usually higher energy and finding some more interesting levels, which is what all voice actors are striving to do. And then the C take is what we call our effort take. And it's all in, it's it's mostly all improv. And I have to tell you, most of those are the takes that we use. Um, I was able to record with David Hayter and I was able to record with Vanessa Williams, Vanessa Marshall, Vanessa Williams is the singer, Never mind. Um, I'm trying to think if I recorded ever with Jennifer Hale or Quentin or Cam or a myriad of other people or beautiful Tasia uh, during Metal Gear. But all I know is that Chris Zimmerman Salter is the best voice director known to mankind. You guys know who Chris is? Give me a shout out, give me some hearts. So those are some just easy things that I remember. Hello UK Wales. It's not quite time for you to go to bed there. Hi, 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 waving. This is so nice to be with you guys. What was the first part of the stream saved? No, because my internet went out, Kevin. I'm so sorry, the internet totally went out. So um, if so, then I can watch mine sign then. Shit, it was one of the flowers at the start. Okay, what we're gonna do is go back. So you have it, because I've got all these photos that I've signed. Kevin, was yours the long piece, but it didn't have your name? Yes, I believe so. Um, can you remind me, Kevin? Was yours, honey, was yours? Hi, Rena Syracuse, my friend from college. Hi, Rena. It's good to see you. You were, we were we took a trip from Boston to LA. I'll never forget that. And I'll never forget who we met on the plane was what's the group that's saying, What I like about you? The romantics. Hi, Rena. Hi, sweetie. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too. Kevin, can you please hi Michael? I love you too, you guys. This is so sweet. Um Oh, I need to see the puppies. Oh my God, thank you so much for reminding me. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Jeff BM8. Um, when, you're, when you reply to my Twitter, Lori, I hope you like it. Okay, I'll go look at that. What was my favorite episode? Well, as of late, well, Gal Pals, which is one of the ideas that I pitched. Um, Serena and I pitched it at, a, at the Annie Awards years ago. So that's probably one of my favorite episodes. And then Pearl of a Birthday, because I got to sing. So I got to go over with the, the amazing Andy Paley, who was one of the Beach Boys um, musicians. He's incredible. And now he plays with, he's amazing. And he plays with Tom Kenny in the high seas. And I got to go over to, to his home recording studio, I think, before that was a thing. And now it's a thing. And we sang, you know, it's all about you on your 16th birthday. So I got to sing. That was one of my favorite episodes ever. I love the effort take. Yep, that's where you, and I always suggest if you're a voice talent, do an effort take at home. That'll be the one you send. She's a great casting director. Yep, Sammy. Do you remember Kim, my guest? I don't know, can you clarify that for me? Yes, it was the one, Kevin, with the super long quote. Okay, so Kevin. What is it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your, your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? This one is for you, Kevin. I'm happy to do a long quote because the boss has a lot to say and she has a lot of purpose in this game and in the world if she was a real human. Okay, heron underscore dot con, hi. Bush Life, hello. I always see you on D Nice videos, D right? D Nice like dance parties, um, uh, club quarantine. Do I have that right? This is the best live stream ever. Well, because I like chit chatting. So many people go on and then they're like, I'm done. And I never get to chit chat, so that's great. Oh, the dogs, the dogs, the dogs. You are so welcome, Kevin. Who wants to see the babies? Forgive me, there's one or two that I clicked on as if it were signed and it's not. And there's two people or three people that signed while we've been going. So I will, you know what I may do once we're off the phone, once I'm off the phone using my phone to do Instagram, I'm going to call one of the streaming league guys and see if there's something I'm just overlooking about the new ones that have come in or the ones that I clicked off by accident. And I, I'll jump right back on if that's the case. 
Um, yes, I see who you're talking about in Metal Gear Solid. Amazing. Yes. And love for your animals. Puppies, 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 puppies. Puppies. You have people that want to see you. Will you help hold Goldie? Wait, let's put Finn's co holiday collar on. Where's his holiday collar? Where's his little green collar? Goldie. Okay, here they come. Here's Bombi. And I'll tell you the quick rescue stories. This Bombi, he's in a little sweatshirt. My dear friend Sarah Siegel gave us, and there's Mark, my fiance. Hi. And that's hey Rowdy Finn. Hi, hi, hi. So, Bombi's story is that I was at a get. There you go. Hi, Finny. Can I have a kiss? Finny, give me a kiss. Finn. Oh, your breath. Oh, dude. Come in. Come into the. Hi, can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? He's like, I'm can I'm camera shy. Yes. Oh, oh we kiss his mark. Wait, can I have a kiss? Yes. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you. But I'm not licking your nose. Okay, I'm so thinking. real quick. So Bumby, so Bumby, um, so Bumby, I rescued my hairy doggy had just um, crossed over the rainbow bridge. Or no, was about to. And I was so depressed and so mm, is an understatement. Oh, here comes Goldie. So I saw him at a gas station and I knew it was a sign to say goodbye to Harry and then take this little one. I've never had little dogs and I rescued Finn right before the pandemic. Hi, and he's a street dog from Bakersfield. Uh, yeah. And then look at that. Wait, wait, wait. Pick up Goldie again. I'm sorry. Yay. And Goldie oh, is a street oh, rescue baby. from Mexico. Look at her eyes. That's why she's Goldie. Look. Look at the camera. Oh, Goldie girl. She doesn't know how to give kisses. Can you give a kiss to me? Who's such a good girl? I kiss you. Who has rescue dogs? Give me a heart. You know what's so great? Even, even if the, hi. There's, hi David, Eric, my first roommate from NYU. Hi David. Hi J.R.R. Jerome, how are you? Um, have I met the cast of Hey Arnold? Yeah, we used to be in the we used to all be in the booth recording. Yes, oh I know my pants are crazy. They're these they're these crazy workout pants that have cheetahs that have cougars on them or something like that. Um, let me see if there's any. I don't know what this camera icon is because Instagram has changed so much. Let me see if anybody's written a question. I think we we were able to cover them here, which is great. Um, I don't know what the camera icon is for. Does anybody know what the camera icon is for? If you're doing a live, I have no idea. Literally, I have no idea. Um, they are so adorable, I know. Hi, David. Hi, Ariel. Um, I do have the best furry friends. I have to tell you, when people buy a dog, it makes me crazy. They're like, oh, but it's gonna have better health. No offense, David. They say it's the dog is gonna have better health. You're gonna know where the dog came from. But what you don't understand is that they're most likely um, overbreeding the mom. So they breed her, they breed her, they breed her. And if you think about it, hi, do I saying this right? Jar underscore Mather, Mather. I apologize if I'm not saying that right. Amanda has two rescue dogs. So again, I don't mean to, um, to but the money that you spend, you could be rescue, you could be at least donating to a rescue place, right? And you could be helping the rescues, the rescue, the shelters, if you are able to help in that way, they're able to go then rescue another dog. So if you're getting a dog from a shelter, you're actually saving two dogs' lives because the euthanasia rate at shelters is so high because so many people surrender their dogs. So next time, you know who I'm talking to, you can bring on, um, yeah, puppy mills break my heart, so the same. Hi, Jose Melina, did I get that right? Um, I'm gonna see, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I want you to meet a wonderful voice actress. Deb, I don't know if it just invite to join, I did. I don't know if that, did that work? Now we'll have some, some Christmassy, it's gonna be snowing. It's snowing. I do miss that from being an East Coast girl. Um, okay, Zeb, I invited you, but I don't know how to, to make that work. 
Oh, oops. There How do I turn this around? <laughs> there she is, beautiful voice actress. Hi, honey. Hi. How are you? Happy holidays. Hi, happy holidays. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm actually good. This is, makes me so happy to be able to say hi to people. Look at your perfectly groomed eyebrows and not a stitch of makeup and you look beautiful. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, go. Show us your favorite ornament. Um, probably this one. Wait, hold on. <laughs> With the big crease. Hold on, hold on. With there the we go. Oh, that's nice. They look like the, um, the, um. The it house. looks like, it, it looks so, like me and Matt. That's why I like it. <laughs> can I, can we see your doggies? Oh, I don't have any doggies. Wait. I thought you had doggies. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing. <laughs> I don't know that you had doggies. You just love my doggies. Yeah. Well, my landlords um, had doggies, but they moved. So tell us about what's going on with your voice stuff. Oh my goodness! Uh, I've been doing a lot of e-learning lately. Good. Good. It's really important is- to know for voice actors that. Um, there's so many other things you can be doing, like explainer videos, medical narrations, there's games, there's all sorts of stuff, right? So there's more yeah. stuff than just commercial or animation because it's hard business to break into, but it's not impossible. So that's fantastic. Yeah, it's for a K-12 company. So I really like it in that aspect because I feel like I'm making like a difference for, for kids because the company that I work for, they're like, you know, um, a lot of the kids, like they're not sure how to, pronounce certain words or you know they have trouble reading so they're like we need someone that can read a bit slower and articulate clearly so then they can do their articles for school you're helping folks Um, in younger people especially how to read and pronounce words and stuff like that that's fantastic yeah so it helps them so when they're doing an assignment for school they can either read the article themselves or they can hit the play button and they can listen to me read it for them (laughs) follow Zeb and she what an inspiration that is is it knowing where you are um not yet but they've been talking about possibly getting you, snow to, tomorrow Instagram snowing where you are <laughs> I see you have some lovely snow coming down <laughs> my door is actually very chilly um um I wish you a very happy holiday my love I wish you happy holidays too. You look absolutely lovely, by the way, and I'm so excited for you. Uh, this is where I do my on camera self tapes. Actually, I do it in the, the other room, but I have some naturally good lighting and lots of under eye concealment. So I think that's really what helps. <laughs> no, I don't think that's it. I think you're just naturally beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Well, I'm very inspired by what you're doing. That's fantastic. Isn't it nice when you're actually helping someone? That's really yeah. great. That because I have the holiday blues is to volunteer to do something for someone, something other than myself, you know, even if that's just checking on people and doing an Instagram live or posting something inspirational that it's a, you know, this is a, this is a tough time of year for everybody, even if it feels like an existential loneliness or confusion or missing your family, people that are not here or across the world or country from where you are. Right. So I feel like that, that, that happens a lot during the holiday season. Right. Like I miss my family, you know, you know what I started doing and I was actually inspired by my husband. We started doing this a couple of years ago because I was working at a job where, you know, they were doing collections, canned collections, you know, to give to food banks and stuff. And he brought home some cans for me one day and I just made a careless comment. I wasn't even thinking. I said, oh, I said, well, the collection is over. We don't need those anymore. And he just said, well, honey, people are so hungry. And I just like, oh. And I said, I was like, you're right. I can't believe I just said that, not even thinking. And I said, you know what? I said, let's make a promise to each other now. I said that not just during the holidays, but all year long, whenever we go grocery shopping, we're going to pick up some extra cans because right in the grocery store and a lot of grocery stores have this, you know, if people don't realize you can just drop it right in the bin and they'll donate it for you. That's amazing. Also, I don't know if this has ever occurred to you, but especially in LA where there's such traffic and so many freeways and stuff like that, that at every, uh, every freeway entrance, 
I see people all the time, almost every day. I do see it every day, everywhere I go. And nobody deserves to be hungry. So I would go and just get a bunch of bars, affordable bars. Hi, Sal. Sal of all magic. Um, and, um, and I just get a bunch of bars and I keep them in my car. And that way, if somebody is having a drug or alcohol issue, which is totally understandable because we don't un have enough mental health support, then at least somebody's got something to eat. So that's good. Hey, David, Eric, are you still here? I want to say hi to my first roommate if he's camera ready and he's very handsome. <laughs> um, Zeb, I love you. Thank I you. love you. And I hope to talk to you soon, okay? Yes, for sure. Okay. okay. I don't know how to tell you to get out of this Instagram, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure either. I think, I think it's going to kick me out of the live completely when you end it, but I can just hop back in. It's, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> you have no requests. Request to join. I know. I'm trying to see if I can get up. Oh, wait, let's see. Hold on. Let me see if David Eric is still here. David. David Devora. What? David DeVore is here? No way. No way. Sorry. Okay. Okay. All right, sweetie. Here. I'll just, I'll see if I can just exit it from here and then I'll come back and you can go to the next one. All, All right. right. I'll talk to you soon. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. It might just be, hi. And Zeb will come back. Um, hold on. Again, I'm so sorry because I'm not great at this. Let's see. And it doesn't let me sort of scroll, so I can't tell uh, who might be on. And I got to go. Shoot. <clears throat> David Kaufman. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's inviting people that aren't even on. I don't think, because I don't think David Kaufman is on. Um, but if David is, he's a wonderful voice actor. Um, so if not, he's going to get in his... Um, he's going to get in his private messages like, Hey, Lori Allen tried to invite you to a live. Um, Oh, I missed Ariel. My grandma has three dogs, two white dogs and a black puppy. Um, that's fantastic. I hope they're rescue babies and I hope you have a good holiday with them. It's ridiculously fun. I never had little dogs. I never dressed them up. I've, I've always done like a Hanukkah or a Christmas collar. Um, I love you guys. Please stay healthy. Um, check on people during the holidays. It's really important to make sure people are you know, not feeling alone. And um, I will get these to stream the back to the Streamly folks and they will get these out. And again, if I can contact one of them right now to make sure that I got some of the folks that came on while we were here together, I will jump right back on. Okay, but I don't see how to do it on their site. So they're very organized. It's not them. I think it's me. I think I'm just not seeing it. So my apologies, but I will leave the shop open for the rest of the month. Okay, so I love you. I'm trying to see if I missed anything. Hi. Uh, I just said hi to somebody else. I love you so much too, Zeb. <gasps> Annie. Annie Surtage just joined. He was one of the funniest people, one of the most beautiful inside and out. Annie, you're going to hate me, but I'm going to do this to you anyway. Don't you not do it because you can put on. Um, I just invited you to come on in. You better come on. That's all I'm saying. Declined. Oh, come on. Come on. You can put on a wig. Annie is one of the most talented gals I know. She's in the Groundlings and she is such an inspiration because she's as spiritual and lovely and yummy as a person as she is wildly zany and inappropriate and hilarious. If you're in LA, you have to go to the Groundlings and make sure you either take a class with Annie because especially for animation, how many times, I don't know if Annie's teaching at this particular moment. I have a feeling you might not be, I'm not sure. But Annie, will you type in who you recommend for someone to take a class with? Because as you know, for animation or even commercial voiceover, you should take an improv class or if you're an on-camera person too. Um, ha ha ha, I can't. Blah, 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 blah. You, what? Who cares if you ever take the Breathe Right strip on and do a funky weird filter? I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait till Annie Sturridge comes on. Oh, and what Zeb says, yeah, remember friends to donate clothes if you can, especially underwear and socks. It can make all the difference. Yeah. Hi, Gabe. How are you? You're so welcome, David. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing your last name right. So I see who you are and so do the others. It's lovely to see you. All right, Annie, I'm going to try one more time. You got to take off your breathe rights to a girl. Let's not fuck around. Pardon my language. Annie. Annie. Don't be a bad girl. 
the breathe right strip. Are you sick or does it just help your sinuses? No way. I just had a physical therapy massage in a mask, so I put a breathe right strip on. Because did you go face down and it was killing you? Yes. And so like, you got this is what I do when I get off a massage table. I'm like, ma, 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 ma. it's a good voice warm up, right? Me. But I can't rip it. It's like the extra strength. I'll take off my nose. So I got to do like, yeah, I look cute. You look so pretty. How do you add this like um filter? Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. I feel dizzy. My head. So Annie, when can we? So, okay. So Annie, yeah. when can you, if is anybody in LA, can you tell us when we can come see you perform next? Tonight. And Tonight. Next yes. Tonight. You told me that it's night sketch night. Say what, well, what? What is tonight? Holiday sketch show, 7.30 and 9.30 at the Groundlings. It's improv and it's sketch and it's joyous and it's silly and it's holiday. And then next weekend, Friday and Saturday night, 7.30 and 9.30. Oh, um, oh, you show, 7.30 and 9.30. Okay. Being the late night out or, yeah, maybe I'll come to yeah. this. The 9 30. Is How this the talk about animation? What's this talk about? No, I have autograph signing. Would you like one? I'm happy. Oh, I love one. Right? So, yes, this is my, this is the death scene picture of this boss character, which we love. And then she's got really great boobs in this character. I mean, in this picture. And then, of course, we have Pearl Crab. So, we did some signing for that and, um, and so on and so on and so on. So, it's You're just so uh, talented. But babe, oh, you're so talented. Oh, hi, Ned. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at Ned. He's so cute. Look at his little nose. His pink nose. How is Ned doing? Great. He's great. Um, Lori, that is so exciting about signing. Which of all those characters is the one that's um, the most challenging to voice? Wow, that's wow. Pearl is so at this point she's just a loud like teenager girl that wants to be liked so she's just pretty much me younger on steroids um i'm trying to count what way the boss has had to deal with a lot of tragedy and had to fight for her country above her lover above all the other soldiers so emotionally this was what much um harder to um stay in not stay in character but to really identify with besides the badassness part and speaking out, I feel like she speaks out for her country and I speak out for animals. I do my best. And Chris, if you had any, the pleasure of working with her, um, she was in your ear every single time, every single time. So she's like, you want to be with him. You want to kill him. You're about to die. Da -da 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 -da. So she was in my ear almost every single line. And you, most actors will agree, especially if it's a dramatic, a lot of games are drama, that you leave the session like, Ugh. you're exhausted because if you have a good voice director there in your ear and it is so intense. So if you're recording separately or same now, if you're recording separately, the challenge now is right, is recording from home, just like our self tapes because Annie's an amazing actress and you should follow Annie because you can see what all she's doing. She's so damn funny and talented and a beautiful dramatic actress. This is about you, ma'am. This is about you. Let's keep this about Lori Allen. Let's keep, uh, okay. let's keep it clean. Um, so I, are you so a live signing and then you have people ask questions or something? Yeah, or what? I, I, on, I like staying on and answering. Oh, and then she left. Right, Zeb, when you were asking to show her the ring. That's hilarious. Well, I will do that later. Pat Patrick, shoot. I just think it's wonderful to talk to you, but oh God, good God, I'm so, I'm over time because I have something I got to do today. Hi, hold on. Did you know your, did you show your friend? I didn't. David, before I go, can I get a shout out as the boss? David, loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Will you come back on for if I do another IG live? I have a feeling you will. I want everybody to stay safe, stay healthy. Again, check on other people, check on animals. You know what is a great idea for gift giving? when you got to stay in a budget because nobody's made of money is to do donate somewhere. And then like for all my animal rescue girlfriends and everything, we always say we're going to stand her $20 and whatever. And so it's like, could you just say, you know, like, Hey parents, Hey, so-and-so I made a donation, especially now when we're not dropping off gifts as much as we can in person still, because the numbers are really high here in LA, especially. Um, you can say I made, you could send an email and, and, and have it, be, even if it's like five bucks to the humane society, 
or an animal rescue of your choice. Um, you could say, I donated, you know, um, I donated in, in your name. And that's the holiday gift. And then you're really gifting with purpose, right? So that, I, if I do say so myself, I think that's a great idea. Some of, the, some of the organizations that I love very much is Mercy for Animals. And then there's, like, Quentin Flynn is doing a live, started a live video. Let's see if I can get Quentin. Um, um, but so that's a great... I love you too, Annie, if she's back on. I love you. Rail Chief, say hi. Hi. You're very welcome, David. Terrier 3119, hello. Hello, Wolf Mask. It's nice to be on. I appreciate you guys. So, yeah, I think doing that, um, donating anywhere for Project Angel Food, which is for food. I'm naming stuff that's in L.A. specifically. But Mercy for Animals is one of my favorite. Animal Hope and Wellness, they do great things. Wolf Owl, which is W. U F A W F A W is women. I can't remember the, what it stands for right now because I'm excited and caffeinated. But it's all of my a lot of my women friends who are badass animal activists. Um, my friend Zach Scow at Marley's Mutts. Um, he's the most one of the most inspirational people and talks a lot about mental health and his how his uh, getting sober changed his life. And he does positively positive. He has an outreach program for inmates to train dogs and then they have, so many of them have come out and been um, guys who train uh, animals, which is incredible. And so please follow Zach, uh, S-K-O-W, and Marley's Mutts. He is so inspirational, you won't even believe it. Um, I love you guys too. Um, I'm trying to say hi and wave and I keep chatting because I'm a very chatty person. Okay. Um, I'm going to just, before I leave really quick, let's see if we can see if Quentin will come on, but if he's doing his own live, I don't think he can, but I know you guys know Quentin is a great voice actor. Annie, thank you for coming on. Let's see if, I don't know if Quentin can come on live if, if I'm on live, but I bet you he can. So let's give that a quick second. So stay safe. I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody, but please get vaccinated. Stay safe. Um, if we grow three heads together, I mean, if we grow three heads from the vaccine, at least we've done it together and you won't end up in the hospital or give somebody else COVID if they're a highly compromised person. And make sure you vote when it's time to vote. While I have this quick platform to do that, kisses, kisses right back to you. Um, yeah, I'm really gift with purpose. I mean, of course it's nice and to, to do something to give gifts. Who doesn't like to give gifts and receive gifts? It's just fun and exciting. But um, to gift with purpose would be great. Uh, if you have any kids, I think now's a good time, Zeb says, to go through things that they may not. Yes, and do like hand-me-downs. That's a great idea. Because my good girlfriend, Quentin, a good girlfriend of mine um, asked me if I did, my friend Monica asked me to join her in this gift giving event and did I have any clothes to donate for kids? And I was like, I don't have kids. I can give a lot of doggy sweaters. So, um, so I couldn't do that. So that's a great idea if you have kids. So let's see if I can bring on Quentin for a quick second. So Quentin and I were on Fantastic Four together and, and obviously Metal Gear. Let's see. Hi, Quentin. I don't know if you're doing a live and I'm doing a live if it'll work, but let's see. 1001, 1002, 1003. I'm not sure you can, but honey, I love you very much. We were Sue and Johnny Storm together. And Quentin and I used to, hi, Jacksonville, Illinois. Nice to have you here. Powerpole underscore man 2020. Hi. Um, so Quentin, how come I can't invite you on? You know what I'll do is I'm going to jump off this Instagram because I have to go and I want to call the Streamily guys and see because I looked over one in my overexcitement and there's two people that signed, that want a signing that, um, that I that are not coming up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end this. If I don't see you, happy holidays, stay safe, stay healthy. And if I jump back on, I'll try to say hi to you, Quentin, really quick. Maybe you can invite me in for a second. If not, I love you. And bye Terrier three one one nine eight four. Um he's unable to join. Okay, because he's doing his own live. So I love you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, be kind and do something for somebody else. Cause that always makes you feel better during this tender time. Holidays are always kind of interesting and weird. And um, I love you guys very much. And I, I tend to forget to check the um, DMs, but please, if, if someone is, if I didn't sign the one that I skipped over or you signed one or you got one while we were going, please send it to me in the DM and I'll, I'll it'll help me remind myself to talk to the Streamily guys. Okay. I love you. Mwah. Happy holidays. 
and you're so sweet Seb. happy holidays um i love you guys very much and i completely forget how to end this i think i just used the x all right um let's find one silly filter before i go because i'm such a dork um hi hi future what does it say uh future why i'm sorry i can't pronounce that but you know who i'm talking to okay let's do something super silly i'm sparkly you're sparkly but that's not as fun let's find something really ridiculous let's see okay so this will make you feel on fire or make you feel very excited i hope or maybe not here's a holiday autumnal one i don't know why there's a little square i'll try to fit in the square and say goodbye one more time um love you guys again and i'll try to go on ig more often because it's really fun and it gives me a nice chance to say hi and bye so again like we like my boyfriend and i say we're gonna leave at 11 at a party we're gonna leave at 10 at a party so i'll start saying goodbye now so it takes me a long time to say goodbye because i miss and love you all right stay safe stay healthy and i'll see you very soon thank you so much for coming on thank you i really appreciate you okay bye